Hey everybody, today we're going to be taking a casual look at Wolfenstein 3D for the 3DO. Now Wolfenstein 3D originally came out on the PC way back in the early 90s, uh, developed by id Software. It's sort of the grandfather to the first person shooter genre, granted there were a couple more first person shooter efforts prior to it, Wolfenstein 3D was the first popular one. Um, it got quite a few ports to a few home consoles, uh, for one it actually got a port to the Super Nintendo, I believe id Software actually did that port. It got a port to the Jaguar, which id Software also ported. It also got a port to the Macintosh back then, which I don't believe id Software ported. I think uh, someone else ported that, and I believe their name's gonna come up here in a moment. I just don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, and those guys, I think, actually did the 3DO port, and I believe it was published by Interplay there. Logicware, I think that's what it is. Is it? Yep, Logicware. <laughs> Always takes the image for the name to come back up into my head. But uh, needless to say, I don't believe this port was actually handled by id Software. And the interesting thing about that is that it's a phenomenal port. Um, for me, I'd have to say that this is probably my favorite home version of Wolfenstein 3D. Um, I like the Jaguar version a lot. Uh, I have to give id Software credit on that one. But uh, I think this one actually gets the edge by just a little bit. Both the 3DO and the Jaguar versions actually have some differences that uh, you don't see um, in other versions. So I don't even know if that makes any sense, but they, they have some differences from each other because they were actually both handled by completely different people. So um, this version though has, um, it's just, it's a great port. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hop into the game. Um, we'll go ahead and do the original counter 30 levels. And I'll do Death Incarnate because I like to play it rough. I like to play it difficult. You guys know me. Those of you guys that are subscribed to my channel anyways. And, um, but yeah, I mean, this game is just, it's a great port of the game. For one, you can tell with the visuals. The visuals look pretty nice. I mean, granted, Wolfenstein 3D never did have textured, you know, floors and ceilings. But, uh, you know, the, the textures on the walls, they look great. They're, they seem to be a pretty, fairly high resolution for the time. Uh, everything is bright and colorful. The, uh, the sprites used for your, your hands, your guns, have been redrawn. Um, likewise with the enemies, everything has been sort of redrawn a little bit. Let's go ahead and get hit just to show you. And uh, everything just looks really good in this game. It's, uh, I mean, it's a great rendition of the classic uh, PC Wolfenstein 3D. And uh, one of the things I actually like a lot about this game is that the sound effects were changed, the music was changed, and uh, everything actually sounds really good. Like when you pick up ammunition, you open up doors, like everything just sounds, it sounds great. I, I, I can't even describe it. It just sounds excellent. And um, you know, I, I can't say the same for the Jaguar version, which was actually developed by id Software. But then again, the Jaguar, you know, the sound hardware is a little bit different than the Jaguar, and it was on a cartridge, there was less room to work with, things like that, uh, I'm sure all affect the game. Um, but uh, there's just something I really, really like about the soundtrack, and there's something about the soundtrack and the music that really draws me into the game far more than uh, any other version of Wolfenstein. Uh, even the PC version, I still go back and play the PC version, if you'd believe that. Uh, it's a great time killer if, uh, if I'm just really bored with everything else. And it's something that I can download on Steam uh, and play through DOSBox in about two minutes flat because the game is hardly large at all. And, uh, you know, I can play a few stages, turn it off, or play a whole episode and then turn it off, or, you know, dedicate a whole night to it um, and have fun with it, you know. And um, even with that version, like, the sound effects don't draw me in or they don't have that they don't mesh like they do in this version i mean the wolfenstein 3d for the pc it's a classic you cannot knock that game if you do you're stupid don't knock it that's wrong <laughs> wolfenstein 3d for the pc is it, it was uh it set it set the bar you know and then its software basically raised their own bar with Doom, and they raised their own bar on Doom with Quake, and you know, its software, they've been trendsetters basically uh, in the PC realm, and Wolfenstein 3D was really close to the start of all that, and uh, so it's a classic, don't, don't make fun of it. <laughs> but uh, even that said, I have to say, I actually like the, uh, you know, I, I think the sound effects and the music in this game actually, uh, well, I don't wanna say they work better, but they, they work phenomenally in this version. Oops, there's an enemy. I don't know where he came from. 
But uh, the point is, uh, just the aesthetics in this game are great, from the visuals to the sound effects to the music. Uh, it just all gets you into the experience very well. Now, that's not to say this game is perfect, and one thing it actually doesn't have over the Jaguar versions. The Jaguar version actually runs quite a bit smoother, I believe. Um, the 3DO version of Wolfenstein actually has... You notice the frame rate isn't super smooth. It's very playable. It's, it's compared to most 3DO games, oh man, this is extremely playable. But it's not like 60 frames a second or something like that. It's brisk. It's a brisk kind of choppiness. But it's not super smooth like the PC version of Wolfenstein is. Or even the... Uh, the Jaguar version. I know the Jaguar version has, I think, some slowdown. Tiny, tiny, tiny bits of slowdown here and there. But overall, I think it's it's smoother as far as how it moves. You notice how, like, that door is kind of going back and forth, kind of choppy? Well, that's the 3DO for you. But that doesn't really affect the game at all, surprisingly. And the game still looks, sounds, and plays great. Another cool feature you can do, which um, you can also do in the Jaguar version, but unfortunately I don't believe you can do in the Super Nintendo version, is you can... Um, save your game. You can, um, well, actually, I'm sorry. At the end of certain stages, it gives you the option to save your game. I'm sorry. In the Jaguar version of Wolfenstein 3D, you can only save it, uh, you can save it whenever you want, actually, in the Jaguar version. This one, you have to wait for it to ask you to save it. So, kind of a downer, but it asks you quite a bit, so uh, don't ever worry about losing your progress or something like that. You can also hold multiple save files, which is nice. You can just name them. And uh, if you ever want to blow one away, just go to your 3DO's uh, data management tool and uh, delete it. So, um, yeah, I'm just kind of like rambling all over the place here now, like I normally do. But um, one thing, or one major quirk I do have, aside from the frame rate issue, and it's not really an issue, so to say, I just wanted to point out that it's not perfect. This game is not perfect by any stretch of the word. But um, one of my biggest complaints is that when you get hit, um, the screen doesn't go red like it does in the Jaguar and the PC versions and things like that. So sometimes you're getting hit and you actually have no idea you're getting hit until you're dead and the game stops. You're like, what just happened? Um, so that's my actual biggest complaint with this game is that there's no indication when you get hit. You might hear gunshots, but you don't know if you got hit. You have to literally focus at your health bar if you want to know if you got hit, but I don't want to have to look at my health bar if I've got five enemies in front of me, if you know what I mean. So that's really my biggest uh, problem or complaint with this game. Everything else is just awesome. Let me actually go... Uh, hell, you've even got... Uh, how do I activate it? I don't even remember how to activate it because I never use it. But uh, you've got a, a map you can use. And how the hell do I activate it? <laughs> uh, let's pause it. I have no idea, guys, but there's a map you can activate as well. Uh, so if you get lost in any of these mazes, just, you know, pull up your map and uh, you're good to go. So you can find your way back to where you need to go. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, while I'm finishing up, uh, finishing this up. Actually, we got about another minute or so before I want to wrap this up. So these are actually all my old save files from last year, these ones. And uh, I actually repurchased this game. I had sold it last year after I was done with it, and I repurchased it again. It's one I'm probably going to hold on to for however long, um, you know, I'm not financially straining because it's definitely probably my favorite 3DO game on the system. And I think it's, uh, hell, I'd buy a 3DO just for this game. It's a fantastic version of Wolfenstein. Um, but, you know, the nice thing about the 3DO is that, you know, with save files, you know, if they're on your system, you can get rid of the game and then get it back and you still have all your, your old save files. But here's a level slightly farther into the game. It's about halfway through. And I'll just, you know, play this stage while I try to uh, wrap up this video. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Wolfenstein 3D, it's a great port in the 3DO. If you don't have it, I definitely recommend trying it out. If you can't find it for cheap... Uh, guys on eBay tend to sell this one for way more than it's actually worth. Uh, people are literally trying to list it for $30, $40, $50. 
uh, sometimes it doesn't even have the box when they're listening at that. I, I'm, I'm really getting aggravated with sellers on eBay actually in terms of 3DO items. And I mean, this is the case with several other platforms as well. It's not relegated to just the 3DO, but it's a problem on the 3DO, I think. It's difficult to build up a solid quality 3DO collection without paying an arm and a leg these days. And it's not that the games are actually worth that much. It's not that people are actually running out to shell out this kind of money for these games. Um, so if you see a copy of this game on eBay for $30, $40, $50, I'm not going to say it's not worth it because this is an awesome version of Wolfenstein 3D. But I say wait a little bit. Wait, You'll, you'll eventually find one that comes up a little bit cheaper. Uh, don't buy into that overpriced 3DO crap on eBay. The sellers are... I know this is kind of a rant in itself, but the sellers there just... I think they're uneducated, really. And uh, so don't, don't buy into it. Don't support it. And uh, just wait on eBay. You can find a good deal. Um, you can find a good deal on just about any 3DO item unless it's like Dino Park Tycoon or something like that. That's just absurdly rare. Or Lucien's Quest, which is a combination of absurdly rare on top of quality. Kind of like Panzer Dragoon Saga or something like that. Maybe that game is not quite as good as Panzer Saga, but it's, you know, it's a quality game. So people, and it's, it's not common, so people have to pay a lot for it. This game... Not super rare in a 3DO. Um, I think it's one that might not crop up as often because it's it's a keeper. Uh, there's a lot of 3DO games that are even probably rarer than this that aren't really keepers. They're kind of just really bad games. And um, but uh, Wolfenstein 3DO is an awesome game, so it might not pop up as frequently. But I noticed that over the years, uh, there's periods where you won't find a copy, but then there's periods when there's like six or seven copies on eBay at once. So. Uh, just look out for them. Don't overpay. But uh, I'd say if you had to pay 20 bucks for this game, I'd say go for it because it is uh, it is an awesome game. I paid about 23 for this copy, and that was from a local independent shop. Um, I would not pay any more on eBay. Uh, I don't want to support people that are trying to sell 3DO games buy it now for $40 plus $5 shipping, things like that. Uh, especially when they probably bought the game for a couple bucks. But um, that's aside from the point. So, Wolfenstein 3DO, guys, um, <laughs> Wolfenstein 3DO, Wolfenstein 3D for the 3DO, excellent port, guys, uh, definitely recommend it. And uh, if you happen to have a Jaguar, I recommend that version, too. Always have to bring that one into the picture because it came out, you know, probably about a year before this version. Uh, so, they're both pretty close to each other. Highly recommend both versions, actually, but this, I think, it's the edge. If you have a 3DO and you don't have Wolfenstein... And you like Wolfenstein, get this game. It's worth it. Even if you played a lot of the PC version, this game is totally worth it. So with that, guys, I'm out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll be back with some new content sometime soon. So take care.